Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about doors, and the title is Doors Are Walls, and, and I think when you walk through this explanation with me, you, you'll understand why we have the title. So let's think about our doors. What are they? Well, they're the weakest link in the structure usually, doors and windows. The walls are usually wood frame or concrete or something like that, so they have a good density in terms of construction, but you got to remember that noise is like water. It's going to find the weakest link, and the weakest link is usually the doors and the windows, okay? So knowing that, what we have to realize is that the door is positioned inside of a wall, and that wall has a certain density. So when we're designing a door, we want to make sure that the density of the door must match at least the wall density, or we haven't plugged the hole well enough and our boat will sink, okay? If we treat our room as a boat that we have to put in the water and we make sure that there's no um, leaks in it so it, it, it'll stay afloat for a while, then we have to make sure that we do the right things with the door. So we have to treat the door density like the wall density, okay? Now that's a minimum. You usually exceed that in our designs, not by much, but 10, 15, 20 points. So what are we going to do when we design our door? Well, we have a room and we have a door, okay? So what are we going to do? Well, what is our noise source over here? Is it traffic? Is it a garbage truck? Is it people talking in the next room? What is it? And then we have to look at the noise source and then we have to look at the wall. What is the wall going to do to hinder or reduce the transmission of noise from noise source? Is it going to be strong enough? If not, we have to fortify it. Or sometimes, and a lot of times, we have to tear it out and start all over again. Because sometimes you just can't fix bad. Okay? So, we have to consider noise source. We know that noise is frequency and amplitude dependent, so we measure, 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 remember. Because we, we don't want to guess with noise. We want to get it right the first time. 100% fixed, 100% right, because it's a pain. We don't want to deal with this noise thing. It's way more fun dealing with absorption and diffusion inside the room because we can hear that immediately. Noise is nuisance, so we only hear it when it bothers us. Right now I'm in a studio and, and I'm doing videos. It's just, there's not much going on outside, but we are downtown, but I don't hear any noise. Now, if I heard noise, you know, then Michael and I would have to do something different, maybe change times or something like that, because, you know, we're not going to tear the room apart or work in the studio, although we could, <laughs> but we won't. So the bottom line here is frequency and amplitude. Remember, we got to know what we're doing. we got to know what we're fighting. When countries go to war, they try to assess the strengths and limitations of their enemies, and they attack the limitations. They develop a strategy. So we develop a strategy of isolating noise, and then we have to come up with a design that is a tactic to complement the strategy. So we're going to design our door, and it's going to have different layers. And I know you all want to know what layers in a door. It just depends on noise source. How much energy are we trying to reduce the transmission of? I can't give you a general outline. I can tell you it's going to be different layers of materials. I can tell you that there's going to be different densities in the materials. I can tell you there's going to be different densities in the front layer that's facing the noise versus the rear layer that's facing the inside of the room. I can tell you that there's going to be different densities in the middle of it. But I can't give you specifics because they don't know your noise problem. And remember, noise is that 125 cycle break point. Anything above 125 is a completely different barrier than below 125. So there's too many variables. I, I, I don't want to give you a general idea of something because here's what you'll do. You'll build it and it won't work because you didn't measure your noise. So, and a lot of you try these solid core doors and mass loaded vinyl and stuff like that. Great products, great, uh, let's see, construction methods to use, but what is the frequency and amplitude of your noise? I can tell you that a double core door with mass loaded vinyl 
will not work for frequencies below 125. That much I can tell you. So you got to measure. You got to measure and you got to know what you're fighting. We can stop anything. I mean, not completely, but we can mitigate quite a bit of noise, 90%, no problem. Well, it's a problem. It's expensive and it takes up a lot of space and it has lots of weight and mass, as you can imagine. But the bottom line here is we got to make sure that the doors at least match the density of the wall and deal with the frequency and the amplitude of the noise. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.